Jared Poland, Frono's Photo. Dot com here at the Fro Factory with the brand new Nikon D500 because I know you guys want to see the high ISO tests. I'm going to try and do my best to replicate the same pictures over and over, some wide, some medium, some tights. We've got Maria back here. Her Snapchat is up on the screen. Go ahead and follow her Snapchat to see what she's up to in the world and where she's at in the world. But remember, this is just a test. The real world review will be coming in the future. I'm setting up all these cameras myself and I'm going to edit it and I'm going to put it out into the world. You can download the full res exported JPEGs to see for yourself, as well as download some RAW files to determine if the ISOs are good for you with this Nikon D500, which is a DX camera. The whole point of this is just to give you some sample images to pixel peep. All right, Maria, are we ready to do this? All right, so we're going to do a bunch of different shots. I'm going to start at ISO 1250, being that I work with. So I picked a super dark space. Why did I pick a dark space? Because that's how we're going to use the higher ISOs to see if they're any good. All right, same way we were talking. There you go. That's good. Um, let's just start. I love the medium shot, to be honest with you. There you go. That's great. So remember, this is a DX camera. You're getting 1.5 crop factor each time. Let me just make sure we're good. I had to put on the VR just to make sure because I'm at 1 40th of a second, which is super slow at 3.2 at ISO 1250. Yep, just hold the same thing. I know it stinks, but it is what it is. We need to replicate it. Let's just do this again. So that's at 1250. I'm actually gonna get rid of my strap. It's annoying me. Annoying me strap, goodbye. It's getting in my way vertical. If I had a vertical grip, it would be much better. All right, so that is ISO 1250. Let's go, let's just go to 2000. Oh, we'll do the 1600 so you guys can see. So I'm just going to bump my shutter speed up to compensate for that. Here we go. Good, Maria. Very good. You hear the beep because I am in single focus. So that looks good. Let's go up to 2000. We should be good there. Boom. Let's keep going up. We've got 2,500. We have a long way to go here with these samples. There's that. Now we've got 3,200. Let's just double check. All right, so 3,200. Here's that shot. There you go. Good job. Boom. Make sure we're all good there. Checking my focus. I can zoom in on the screen just by pinching it. And we're at 3,2 each time because I don't want to be at 2.8. Now we're going up to 4,000. Boom. 5,000 right here. You hear me doing extra beeps just because I want to make sure that uh, I want to make sure that everything is absolutely in focus. I'm turning off the VR now. ISO 6400. Boom. Make sure we're focused. Definitely hard to tell on the back of the screen. 8,000. Boom. And we'll keep going. 10,000 ISO in a DX camera is pretty unheard of. Now we're at 12,800. Still looks like it's in focus. 16,000. Good. Let's go to 20,000. All right, it's 20,000. Now we're going to keep going. 25,600. Next one is 32,000, 40,000, just keep checking, making sure my exposure is good, 51,200 is where this camera maxes out, boom, now we'll go into the H1. -H 
H7. Actually, that was that was H1. This is H2. And you can see it just continues to get grainier and grainier. H3. H4. Right here. And H5. This is 1,000. Oh, sorry, 1.6. 4 million and that is what we have right there all right guys so i i know this is a little testy i went through all of the isos starting at what 12,500 up to the 1.64 million iso just to give you different sample images to play with download the raw files download the full res what i want to do right now is switch lenses to do a tighter headshot so that you can see how that works out because I like using tight headshots to see how the focus and how the ISO works. I'm going to go through the same process and go all the way through from the 12,800 all the way up. All right, here we go. Turn off my camera, going to switch lenses. I've got the 70 to 200. And remember with the 70 to 200, you put that on this camera, it's basically a 105 to 300 millimeter lens um, is where we're at. So got VR is on. I'm going to have to start down all the way at 12,800 and we'll see where I need to stand for this Maria because I want to do a nice headshot. Oh, that's going to be perfect. This is where I wish I had a vertical grip. I'm sitting here trying to do this. It's not happening because they're not out yet and I don't have it. So I want to be around, let's be at F4 this time. I'm all the way zoomed out at 200, so this would be a 300 millimeter. I got to get my exposure right for you, Maria. I'm at 12,500, uh, 12, I'm at 1250, not 12,500, 1250. So we're going to hold this. I know it's a pain in the butt. Uh, move that hair just a little bit. There you go. Now I'm at, huh, okay. I have to get my exposure better. I'm gonna go back to 3.2 right here. Here we go. Move just out of your eye a little bit. Yep, because I wanna see both eyes. Perfect. Boom. Now I do have VR on. All right, so there's that. Well, let's just go up with the ISOs. Um, should I go all the way up? I don't think you need to see every single one. Let's just start at a little higher. Let's go to 32. Actually, we'll do 2000 ISO here. Here we go, same thing. Boom. Not bad, not bad at all. Now we're gonna go up to 2500 ISO. Check everything. I'm just checking this because I wanna give you guys the right sample images. Now we go up to 3200. Definitely need the VR on on this because of uh, shooting at the slower shutter speed to make this work, but that looks nice and sharp. 3200, now we're going up to 4000. Still staying at 3.2, here we go. Move the hair again away from, it's just covering your eye, there you go. Perfect. Boom. Nice. 5000, let's go to 6400, we'll skip that. You ready? Yeah. Same thing as before. There you go. There we go. Double check. Just, there we go. I got 6,400. Let's do 8,000. That's 8,000. Now we're going up to 10,000 ISO. And we just keep pushing it to the extremes. 12,800 DX camera. All right, 16,000. Boom, that's actually looking really good. 20,000.
Keep going. 25,600. Next is 32,000. 40,000. All right, clear that hair again for me. There you go. Now we're at 51,200, which is the highest that this will go in native. Nice. Really good. Now we're going to go even high. Let's go, let's just, just go right to high one. Now high one, what you guys have to remember is that in the H1 areas, those aren't recommended. Anything past 51,200 is not recommended by Nikon. So let's go all the way up to high five. Well, we'll do that. We did high one. Let's do high two. Whew. High three. And high four. And we'll go up to high five, 1.64 million ISO. Boom. Wow. And there is your 1.64 million ISO. So, all right, we've done the test stuff. Now it's time to just do an actual shoot. Kind of very similar to a five minute portrait thing. Uh, we're just gonna, we're gonna use this. Remember, you can download the full res exports, you can download the raw files, and I will do a real world review in a actual situation, other than, I mean, this is an actual situation, but I wanna take it somewhere else to really put it through its paces. But Maria, let's, let's, let's do some of this right here. Um, you, I, I love leaning in, not the same way we were just doing it, but more like shoulder right here. You got like, yeah, and then, that. But I definitely want to do some definitely with your back against the wall like this uh -huh. and, and more looking like that okay. for some of them. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to start with the 70 to 200. I'm going to switch off. I may need to back up. I may need to go on the other side of some of this stuff, get my exposure right. See, I'm actually going to come this way next to the wall because I love using the wall out of focus. Looks like I need to play with my exposure more. So right now I'm currently at 2,500 ISO. Let's go to 3,200. I have VR on because I'm breaking the rules here. I'm at f3.2. Boom. Nice. What do I mean by breaking the rules? I mean that I am hand-holding at 1 25th of a second, but I have VR on on this camera. That's what we need. All right, same, keep going. Yeah, I love that look right there, Maria. Just hold that. And I'm just moving in ever so slightly with the, uh, the zoom lens here, the zoom range, so I don't have to um, crop later. That's the point, is I don't want to have to crop. Le yeah, okay. I'm just seeing. There you go. So watch this, guys. I'm actually going to... Rule of thirds this on the left hand side. There you go. Nice. Yeah, I like that with the, yep, hold that. Yeah, hold that and then we're gonna do shoulder over here, but hold that. Hold it, just keep holding, there you go. I like the hand, I like where it's at. Nice. Now. Yes, bring your face back towards me over the shoulder. There you go. That's perfect. Yeah, hold, yeah, doing with the way you were just looking down was fine. And then I'll, t and then I'll direct you from there. All right, hold it. I really want to bump my shutter speed, though. I'm, I'm, I'm actually getting away with it. All right, give me that, but give me the eyes right here. Almost, yep, yeah, down more, like it's almost on your shoulder. There you go. Eyes right here. I'm going to move this into the 10 frames a second just to see where we can be with that. Yeah, I like, I like the one where you're looking out the window. Let me show it to you real quick. See that? 
like that. Yeah. We can zoom in, pinch and zoom. That's really nice. Really nice. All right, let's keep going. Because I'll switch lenses, but you know, we're just playing around. This is how this all works. Yeah. Let's see how wide that's. So this isn't, I'm going to switch this 70 to 24 to 70 in a second. Okay. But uh, I like the, what you were just playing around with. So play around a little bit, and when I see it, I will, I will shoot it. All right, yep. All right, yeah, no arm. Now bring the eyes back, bring the head and eyes back to me. Yep, perfect. There you go. Now lean your head back even further. Look out. All right, next one, what else do we have? Actually, I want to do some of those full body ones as well. Let me switch lenses real quick. And like I said, this is meant to be a quick five mini portrait, five minute DDD portrait. We will wrap it up pretty soon just so we can save the rest for other photo shoots. See, what we have to be careful about is how much light you're losing because you're not facing the, the light. You know, you want, because, so we have the light coming in, guys, from, we've got windows right there, we have windows right there, but it's still pretty dark. If Maria turns her back the other way towards that wall, you're losing all the light in her face and you're getting weird shadows. Even though this isn't a great situation to shoot in, that's why I'm keeping her with her face towards the window so we can get some nice light in there. So that's that. I could also move this way. Yeah, do, give me like a strong one right in the corner. That's fine, actually. I have to make sure that I don't get that wood that's over there in there. So we've got the shadow against the wall. I need to continue to move because I have the wood over there. And it looks like I'm going to get some of that wood up in there. What's funny? <laughs> I'm talking about the wood on the floor, Maria. That wood right there. Get your head out of the gutter. I need to back up just a little bit to make sure I get the wood out of there. There we go. I like the, give me the, like, the powerful. So what I'm going to do, because I'm having trouble with the wood, I don't want it in there. No, no, stay where you were. But take a one, yep, a little bit that way, yep. Give me like a powerful, powerful, powerful something. Like, I'm a woman, hear me roar. that way. I'm just making sure my angles are good. All right, now go with the back against the wall. You can do the leg up thing if you really want. I'm going to drop my ISO now that I'm shooting wider, guys. I'm going to go to 1600. Let's go to 3.2. Going to go to about an 80th of a second. There you go. Uh, hair's in the, get the hair out. Perfect. Yep, leaning in a little bit, hold it. Hold it. Just want to make sure everything's good. I don't know if I'm actually hitting focus on that for whatever reason. I don't think it's me. I think it could be the lens. Still haven't liked this Nikon VR lens. All right, hold that. The reason I'm not talking when I'm shooting Maria is I want to make sure that I'm in focus. I'm going to switch back to the 70 to 200, and if I need to back up to get this, I'm going to back up to get this, because I like these shots. Now, I may be out of the frame, but it is what it is. I'm out of the frame. I shouldn't really do that. All right, right there. Bump my ISO just a little bit. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. I like it.
Yep, hold that. Let that other hand dangle, the left one. Perfect, that's better. That's good too. Nice, nice and sharp. Put the back against the wall like you were doing over here, the ones that we liked where you looked out that way, and let's see how that looks just hanging out. All right, you can hear that this camera does this a little better. All right, um, put your back against it again. Turn your head towards the light a little bit. And then bring the eyes to me. I want to do a super tight head shot. Bring your head just slightly back. Now the reason I'm taking a couple of snaps, guys, is that if I'm, if I'm moving a little bit, I want that to be in, I want to fall somewhere in focus. ISO at 2500. Um, I want to go to 3200 because I want a little bit more shutter speed. Let's do this. Yeah, right there. Perfect. All right. Just making sure we're nice and sharp. I am sharp on that eye. Just double checking and then we'll wrap this up. Eyes right here now. Chin down, but eyes here. There you go. Just a little bit of get that hair out of the, the left eye again. Same thing, just, the, yeah, right there. Now, I, I don't like the hand, I like seeing your ring. Yeah. So just let me see your ring. Make sure we're still going here. There you go. Chin down though, I like the chin down, I like the way it looked. Because I still have the, yep, there you go. Um, Bring the hand up a little higher though, the ring. I'd like to see, I'd like to seeing it. There you go, right there. Hold that, don't move. Don't move still. Now just give me your eyes, thank you. Let's show you that. And then we're gonna be done for now. Cool? Cool. Okay, all right. I'm getting winded, I need to practice my cardio. Uh, go follow Maria over on her Snappy Chatty that's up on the screen right now. This is just playing around with the D500. This is the first time I've shot with it, um, and I just wanna play with it. You guys can download all the full res exported JPEGs as well as download a bunch of the RAW files. Again, this is just a test to run through a lot of the ISOs. I wouldn't normally shoot at those ISOs, but we want to see how they look with this camera, and I know a lot of you guys want to pixel peep it. So there you go. You got a high ISO test as well as a sort of five-minute portrait, and Maria, thank you very much. And that is it. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed here on YouTube, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you haven't signed up for the Fronos Photo email list, just look for the orange box over on the website. Put your name, email address in it, hit send it, and I will send you a free guide to capturing motion in low light situations. And that is it. Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com. See ya.